This is a mill. It's a sawmill with a blade and saws logs. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurnitureHowTo.com. Hey everybody, welcome to the St. Alone Carpentry YouTube channel. My name is Scott Schaefer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a mill. Alright, so we're going to start out by taking out the tongue. That way it doesn't get in our way. You don't want to trip on it. Keep the shins safe. That's what I always say. And then we're going to take off the fenders here. Then They're attached by just a pin. Then we're going to take off the locking mechanism that holds the cart in place. And now we're going to balance the bed, the trailer bed, uh, using the jacks. And these are pretty cool little easy to use jacks. And uh, with the twist of a wrench, you drop them down to place, and then you just twist the little handles. I use a five foot level to get the trailer nice and, well, level. And you want to make sure it's level in all directions. Now that the trailer's level, we're going to go ahead and drop the middle feet, and you're just going to drop these to the ground and lift, give them just enough lift that they uh, uh, will support the weight of any mass that you put on top of the trailer. And double check that it's level still. Alright, now we're going to replace the blade. So to replace the blade, we're going to take off the covers first. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to loosen the tension on the blade. So we're going to turn our tension thing to the left. And then we're going to push it in. And that's going to push that wheel to the in and loosen the blade. Now we can take the blade off. But first we want to push back the, um, the blade glides so that they're out of the way. And we'll get our new blade. It's nice and sharp. And we'll put that on there. Pretty much exactly the opposite uh, steps that we use to put it on, or take it off. So get it kind of snug and then put our blade glides back in place, tighten them down. Just spin it to make sure it's not going to fall off the wheels. Your wheels should be pretty much calibrated at this point. And for safety's sake, let's put the covers back on. That's always a good idea. The Norwood Lumbermate Pro will not operate with the covers off. There's a safety thing on there. All right, so now we're going to adjust the height of the blade and make sure that it's uh, it lines up with the scale. So I'm going to set it to five inches to the bottom of the blade from the top of the deck, and then we're going to set our scale here to five inches. That tape on the far right is uh, is the normal ruler. And we're going to use these little knobs at the bottom here. That's what you do to to loosen it up, tighten it down. Then we're going to set it back to one inch and then come back around and just make sure that it's at one inch. That's just kind of like a double check thing. So five inches, then one inch. And now we're going to start the engine. First you want to put the choke on and then slowly take it off. The engine's been sitting there for a while, so it's sounding a little cold. But it'll get warmed up here in a minute. I'll lift it up a little bit and pull on the trigger. It should roar right up. Oh yeah! <laughs> Once we get it moving a little bit, we're gonna tighten up the blade. So we don't want that falling off. The instructions for our mill say to turn it six half turns, which I think equals three full turns. Yeah! You also want to make sure your water is flowing, because that's important for lubrication. Alright, so in addition to getting the trailer all level, and getting your blade set and getting your sharp blade on the wheels and getting it started and warmed up. You also want to check the oil level in the engine just like you would like a lawnmower or a chainsaw or something. You want to check the gas, the water uh, for the lubricant. 
Um, the lubricant is water. You want to check the water tank, make sure you got water in there. And then uh, oil the uh, various parts. Now depending on what kind of mill you have, different parts will need oil to keep the, all of the stuff spinning and moving and like it should. Um, so just keep up with that. And uh, a lot of stuff requires like daily checks or daily maintenance. Uh, so yeah, make sure you keep up with that stuff. And that is all I'm going to show you today. I'm sorry it was so brief. Uh, hopefully you learned something in this video, at least a little bit. And then uh, that'll get us started for when we go into actual production. So we'll get into that, I promise. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel because uh, those videos are on their way. Okay, bye. The music you heard in this video was performed by Colorado pianist Lacey Black. To find out more about Lacey, you can visit her website at laceyblack.net or find her on Facebook.